To begin our tour of the search function, we're going to frame it in terms of the different screens you'll see, knowing what each field or function does, how you can use them, and in terms of results, the importance of the size of your network when searching. You can search from almost anywhere on LinkedIn, starting with the home page, but also any page of LinkedIn that has this little box at the top. As well as here on the home page, it's on my network, messaging, notifications, but it's not on the jobs page because that has its own search function. It's also not on the settings page. Back to the home page though. So what does the main search bar do? Well, it allows you to search for people, jobs, companies, posts, and more, all in one search. It also tries to predict what you're looking for using database entries for quicker, simple searching. We'll come back to this function to discuss how to use it in more detail, as well as some pros and cons. If you click into this field and scroll down to the bottom, you'll see it says search for people with filters. Now I generally use this and I'll show you why soon, but let's click anyway to continue our tour. So we've opted for searching with filters. So that's pretty much what we see on our screen now. First thing you might notice is a set of search results in the middle. Obviously there are no search criteria entered, this is just a list of first and second search connections. We'll need to filter these down for it to be useful, there's almost 4 million. And across the top there's another search bar. Now this does just the same as the main search bar we mentioned a minute ago. Searches all parts of all different types of record. Again if we type in here we'll get some suggestions for searches across people, jobs, groups etc. Start typing, you'll see jobs for the title marketing manager, people and groups about that. Underneath the search bar there are some tabs. The top, people, jobs, posts, companies, groups, schools. Obviously this is the first level of filtering available. Then down the right hand side you have your advanced search options. You'll notice the ones displayed as connection level, defaulted to first and second. Then underneath this you see keywords, locations, current companies, past companies, industries, profile language, non-profit interest and school. Wait, what was this one up here? Keywords, this seems like an important one. Click here to reveal some quite useful search fields. First name, last name, title, company and school. A school, an Americanism for university, so that's what that one means. We'll come back to this whole section later on though. So let's just run a quick search and look at those search results. I'm going to search marketing manager. Now we could run this from the search bar on this page or from the little search bar on the home page. It will give us the same results, but I've just run it from here because I'm on this page. The default results it gives us are top, which will more often than not be a mixture of people and jobs results. We'll click on people anyway. And that middle section is updated with my search results to show people only. Now it may not look as though it changed that much. The results look the same and they're in the same order. But I've now got about 1.7 million where before I had about 27,000. So we're looking at the results tiles for people. We see a picture, a name, a headline. This little in icon tells me that this person has a premium LinkedIn account. This first or second or third, as we'll see, icon shows me the connection level to this person. And we can also see how many shared connections we have with this person. From these results tiles, depending on our connection level, we can either message the person for first tier connections, connect with the person for second tier connections, or send in-mail to the person for third degree to connections or out of network members. Your options aren't always so black and white as this, but we'll look at that later when we look at how your network size affects your search results. If you want to look at the profiles of lots of people on your search results page, I'd recommend going down your results list, right clicking on the name and choosing open on new tab each time. For instance, The reason for this is that it then allows you to look for each profile in turn in the new tab and either bookmark 
or keep open any valuable ones and close any that you don't feel are worth further consideration. This will just stop you going back and forth from results page to profile to results page to profile and save you some precious time. After all, in recruitment, it's very often fastest fingers first.